Uh, just a very quick demo of uh, how these Chrome or Chromium derivative apps actually work. Like I said, I access uh, Ventusky from an icon in the notification area, which is down here. This one. Local weather app. And that brings up interactive maps. We click on that. This is actually running from iron rather than chrome, but uh, principles the same. It all works the same. As you can see, this is animated. It shows um, wind speed direction, uh, thickness and length of the arrows denotes intensity. You do all sorts of stuff here. You can check for rainfall amounts. Look at the radar, satellite cloud cover, wind speed, air pressure, check for thunderstorms, air quality, humidity, all sorts of stuff. But it's uh, handy to be able to bring the window up when I want to, just have a quick shifty and uh, Bob's your uncle, there it is. You, you can also um, step through the forecast, sort of, sort of hours, hour or two, two or three hours at a time, whatever. Um, you can do it this way. That's the next hour, two hours ahead, three hours ahead. Or if you want, you can bring it back to where it is currently and you can actually do a, um, sort of like a slideshow type thing. It does it automatically steps through them for you. All sorts of things like that. I just find it very handy, that's all. But as I said, I can bring it up in its own window without necessarily having to have the browser open. It starts the browser in the background, but it's not occupying a workspace. You only bring up the piece that you actually want to use. And uh, that's that, you see. It's just one option.